Hello people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see, we're back out in the field and today we're going to be carrying out some tests on the Fisio XS812 drone, which I got from banggood.com. Now, the tests I want to carry out on the Fisio XS812 it's three tests. I want to first of all carry out an altitude test. I want to see if this can climb to 120 meters and come back down effectively. Do I, so I want to find out if I trust flying this drone at high altitudes. Not only that, number two is I want to carry out a range test. I want to see how far I can comfortably fly with the Visual XS812. Is it made for long range flying? Or is it made for just flying within 100 meters? We will find out. And the third test we want to carry out with the Fisio XS812 drone is what will happen if it loses connection with the transmitter? Will it return to home and land? Will it return to home and hover? Or will it simply just hover somewhere way out there? These questions we're going to answer in this video. So let's get started. Right people, let's arm this and carry out the tests. Okay, let's start, let's start the motors. Let's take off. Okay, first of all, is we're gonna just do an altitude test. So let's increase the speed. We're currently at what, 30 meters? Remember, our goal is to go up to 120. And as you can see so far, it's handling that very, very well. Okay, we're currently, uh, whoa, right guys, 70 meters. And as you can see, we're losing a connection. That's what that tells me. So let's bring that down from 70 meters. Yeah, so it's at 66 meters, it stopped complaining. If we go up to 70 again, there you go, 70 meters, it starts to complain. Is that anything to do with the settings? Let's just have a look. Okay, we'll have a look at the settings later, but I'll bring it down because uh, we have got people walking here. So, as you can see, we have hit the altitude test of 70 meters. Now, we're gonna be doing the range test. So now we're gonna be doing a range test. I've got 50% battery. We're gonna see how far this can fly. And, you know, before it either loses signal, stuff like that. And basically, let's just see how far it flies, okay? So let's turn around. Let's increase some height. Some more. Okay. Now let's just simply fly down there. So here we go. Let's simply fly down here and see how far we can get. So we're currently at a distance of 60 meters. I can still see the drone in the sky. We're at 100 meters. I still see the drone in the sky. It's looking nice. We're at 140 meters. I still see the drone in the sky. We're at 180 meters. My screen is froze. Battery is 44%. Now I can still see the drone in the sky. However, as you can see, our screen has frozen. So we've got about 200 meters. Let's first return to home. So it's now returning to home. I can see it returning to home. And as you can see, we have now got video feedback. So we lost that drone at about what, 100 meters to 200 meters whilst it was out in the sky. So yeah, there we go. I've answered my question. We sent the drone out at 180 meters to 200 meters and it lost this video signal, the FPV. Now I was flying on the faster setting, so what I propose is that we do this test again and we fly much slower and we see how far 
the drone can manage to get. You never know, if you fly slower, then we may be able to beat that previous record. So let's see, okay? Okay, so we're in slow mode. So let's see how far we can go at this altitude. And we're, we're flying at a, yeah, let's see how far we can go at this speed and at th this altitude. Let's go a little bit higher. It's just uh, watching that tree in the distance. So, a little bit higher. I would say it just gives a little bit higher. Again, I'm paranoid about that tree in the distance. Let's go a little bit higher. It's just uh, watching that tree in the distance. So, a little bit higher. I would say it just gives a little bit higher. Again, I'm paranoid about that tree in the distance. So, so far we're at uh, 153 meters. There we go, guys. We are currently, you know, uh, oh, we still, we got the video signal back. So let's see if we can turn. Yeah. We get, yeah, we can turn. So we're at, currently at a distance of 181 meters. And as you can see, we can faintly turn the drone around. So we're at, we're at an altitude of 19 meters. So let's, uh, let's clarify that. We're at an altitude of 19 meters and we're at a distance of 182 meters. And as you can see, we can sort of turn around the drone and get the video signal. So it's definitely not the best connection, but nonetheless, we're still 182 meters out. So let's return to home. Okay. So as you can see, the drone is returning to home by itself. And this drone does look very impressive when it flies in the sky. There's absolutely no doubt about it. So right guys, what we're going to do, we're going to cancel return to home because we got our video signal back. We're going to turn around now and we're going to carry out a GPS test. So we're going to go into the corner of this field over here. And then what we're going to do is we're literally going to switch off the transmitter in order to find out what does the drone do if it loses signal with the transmitter. Right guys, so as you can see, you know, I'm waving to the drone. As you can see, it's just up there in the sky. Now, what I want to do is I want to work out what happens if I switch off the transmitter to the drone? Now, you can see we're on low battery. But it's came back up again. But let's see what happens. I mean, it's up there in the sky. So let's switch off the transmitter and see what happens. Now, from what I can see at the minute, is the drone is just hovering up there in the sky. I don't know if you can see that, but the drone's hovering up in the sky. So it's not going to return to home. So if I switch on the transmitter, Bind it with aircraft, will I be able to have full control now? Yeah, look at that. The aircraft is coming back to us. So guys, that's, that's actually quite interesting. So the drone won't actually hover. So the drone actually will not return to home if it loses, uh, if it loses connection with the transmitter the drone will just simply just hover in the sky so that means if you lose control with the transmitter then you're going to be running after that drone in order to you know uh, save it because it's just again it's just going to be there hovering in the sky